I'm not known to make bold statements, but I have to say that candid street photography has completely changed how I think about street photography in general. And to be honest, I've been obsessing about it for the last couple of months. Today I'd like to talk about how candid street photography inspire, motivate, and has been a complete game changer for me. Before we get started, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Embreen, aka Hipster in Copenhagen, and I'm a certified street photography addict. Welcome. It feels like I suddenly started to like candid street photography from one day to another, but in reality it has been a long time coming, and I don't know when and how precisely it started to shift for me, because before that I was really into those high contrast light and shadow photographs and silhouette photography, using my longer focal lengths like the 55mm and the 85mm, which I consider my safe space. But I found myself really drawn to candid street photography and I decided that I wanted to explore that a bit more. So I started to follow a few street photographers that did candid street photography exclusively and I really enjoyed watching those videos. I also bought a few photo books and I watched a few old documentaries with some of the old street photographers from the 80s and 90s and the more I did that the more it fascinated me and I decided that I wanted to give it a go. But the main drivers for me were that I wanted to close a few gaps in my street photography because there were some challenges that I was struggling with and those were that I hesitated taking a shot especially when I got closer to my subjects and the other one was that I in general wanted to get closer to my subjects. I'll come back to these topics a bit later in the video. So I convinced myself that in order to do candid street photography, I needed a smaller, more discreet camera in order to make those candid street photographs. Fast forward a couple of months, I ended up buying the Fuji X100V. But what I didn't know at the time was that this camera would have a profound impact on my street photography journey. But that all started with a good challenge, so let me tell you about it. As I mentioned before, I wanted to improve my street photography in certain areas where I saw gaps. And one of those gaps were that I hesitated taking a photo, especially when I got closer to my subjects. So what happens when you get closer, people start to notice you. And that was exactly when I started to hesitate. And the second thing was that I wanted to get closer to my subjects just in general in order to capture those candid street photographs. The challenge I gave myself has lasted for well over a year and is actually still ongoing. And I believe that in order to see real improvements, you have to put in the time and effort to see real results. Because this challenge has lasted so long, I had to put a lot of effort to get myself where I am right now. And comparing that to six months ago, I can see a lot of progression just by looking at my old photos from the day I started this challenge. All that progress is partly because of the daily photo walks I started to go on when I started this challenge and partly because of the tool. So basically the camera that I bought, the Fuji X100V and the type of photographs that I can make using the 35 millimeter equivalent and the 28 millimeter equivalent that the camera also offers. Slowly but surely, I feel like I've been making real improvements to my overall street photography and been able to close some of the gaps that I was struggling with. And in turn, this challenge has opened the gates of candid street photography for me. But there are two important factors when doing candid street photography that keeps me coming back for more. And those are spontaneity and confidence. I love the spontaneity of candid street photography and most of the photos that I captured are moments that occurred spontaneously and I just happen to be there to capture them. With candid street photography, it's important to be quick about what you do while also being discreet. That's why you see a lot of street photographers doing candid street photography use that run and gun styled approach to quickly get in there and be gone in an instance. And most people don't even register your presence and by then you're long gone. In one of my recent videos, I was out doing candid street photography and I wanted to show the audience how I go about on a photo walk to capture those candid street moments. And when I was editing that video, I realized that a lot of my photos were a result of spontaneity. So basically moments that occurred, so pure happenstance. And I was able to get in there quickly without people even notice that I was there. So it was very much that run and gun style that I talked about before. And I actually got a few comments on that as well.
It was in that moment that I realized that how much I progressed and pivoted my overall street photography. And that was everything from my choice of camera to the choice of focal length. So I went from the 55 and 85, so the longer focal lengths, into having the 28 as my main go-to focal length. And also how I make a photograph, so they're more raw and intimate compared to the silhouette photography from a distance. Even my edits are different now. I hardly edit my photos anymore. I just do basic adjustments before I did edit a lot. And most of the time now I just have JPEGs where I put on a film simulation. So everything is just so different from just a year ago when this challenge started and I ventured into candidacy photography. Doing candidacy photography has boosted my confidence so much since I started and I can really see how far I've come by tracking my own progress. And I do that through my notes. So normally I keep a notebook on my street photography, but also through my catalog of photos. So basically if I go back a couple of months, I can see how much I progressed. So this is very satisfying and exciting to see where this will take me. Being confident as a street photographer is very important because it gives us the courage to pursue things we want more freely and it allows us to express our creativity in ways we didn't even think was possible. This was exactly what happened to me with Candace Street Photography. I became confident to pursue whatever I wanted to pursue. Every time I go out on the streets, I feel bold and confident than the day before, and it gives me enough courage to walk up to people to capture that special moment without any fear, anxiety, or hesitation. In the beginning, I said that Candace Street Photography has completely changed the way I think about street photography because it motivates me and it inspires me every time I go out on the streets. And I love the photographs that I can make because I can see the finer details and also anticipate moments so I can quickly capture that special moment. And these things are invaluable to me as a street photographer who is in a constant state of learning. All right, take care. See you in the next one.